Hello and welcome. I'm Woolly Mike. And I'm the Bennett Cop. And but together we are Modeling for Advantage. Dead Man's Hand. We played the initial scene, The Duel, which I won, and we're now going into scene two of The Quick and the Lead, and this is called There Will Be Blood. So I've got my five gang members, and they're ready to be set up. I've got a gunslinger, a guy with a shotgun, a pistol shooter, a rifle, and another pistol shooter. And I have a gunslinger, a varmint with a shotgun, a varmint with a pistol, we'll ignore his uh, rifle for this, and a dude with a repeater rifle. I did have another guy, but as I lost my first battle, he is unable to take part in this one. So we'll put him to one side. Okay, so we've set up our forces. I've got my rifle up here. I've got a pistol shooter down here. My gunslinger is here. My shotgun guy is over here. And one of my, my duelist is stood in the middle. And I've set up with my gunslinger over here. My varmint with a shotgun is here. My dude with a rifle is up here. And this is my varmint with a pistol. We each get five cards, which we've already drawn. And for turn one, we both reveal one initiative card for our duelists. I've got a six. I have a seven. So your seven goes first, you get to shoot at me. One shoot action is allowed in the first turn by the duelist. Okay, so this is a, a varmint who gets a minus one to shoot. We are at... Eight inches. Eight inches, which doesn't give me any bonuses because that's uh, sh short range. So I have a minus one to this roll. Two becomes a one. A natural one would be out of ammo. Okay, so my response is this is a normal dude. So I get no minuses. You've not moved. So just the dice roll. I've rolled an 11. Now an 11 gives you an under fire marker. And I take away my six and put it on the discard pile. That's round one. For round two, I've not used a card from my hand. Neither have I. So, we draw a card, and we place this one, and we choose a person, and we place it face up. So I'm going to place a five of hearts on my shotgun. And a three will be on my rifle. Now we deal those face down cards to each of the other characters. and then we turn them over. Okay, so my highest card is a queen for my rifleman. My highest is an eight, of which I have two. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot with my rifleman. So I get three actions. I'm going to go aim, aim, shoot at your varmint. I've got a range of 21 inches, so it's not long range. And because I'm aiming, I get plus one for each aim. 15 with the plus one for each aim is 17. So a 17 is an under fire marker and a nerve test. So my nerve test, I need to roll Ordinarily, I would need to roll a six or over on a D10. However, I have two markers, which brings that to eight or over. A three. So I would take another hit marker. Yeah. Unfortunately, my character can only take three, which is now put him out of action. And your eight disappears. Okay, so I take my queen off. Now my next highest is an eight. I have two, I have one eight left. 
one okay, away. so to determine whose eight goes first, we draw a card. I've got an eight. I have a six. Okay, so my eight goes first. So this is my normal shooter guy. So what he's going to do is he's going to move, aim and shoot at the guy up on there. Okay, so I'm going to move one. I'm not in short range and there is cover. So, oops. So, not short range, so it's no modifiers. The cover gives him a minus one, so a straight roll with minus one is 14. And a 14 is a hit marker. We'll put, put it, it down, down there. there. Absolutely. Okay, so that was my eight. I've now still got a two, four, and a five. So it's now my eight, which is my varmint with the shotgun. Now, as the shotguns are good up close, I think it makes sense for my varmint to do two moves and then shoot this guy. I don't want a short range shotgun shell, uh, but I can't play a card to stop it. So one would be to here, pretty much point blank. Thank you, Mike. Now, a shotgun is a very, very nasty... Um, he's going to give me both barrels at short range, which gives him a plus six to his dice roll. So ordinarily, I'd have a minus one because he's just the varmint and they're, they're not that good. He also gets a minus one because I did two, two moves, which, which gives me another minus one. How many? You moved once, so that's, I moved once, that's yep. another minus one. So I get minus three, yep. but plus six. So it gives me a total of plus three. Let's see if I can get something good this time. Nine. Yep. So that's a nine. Okay, so now it's my turn with my five of hearts, which is my shotgun guy. Now, I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to move, move, and I'm going to short range blast that guy up there because I don't like a high pointed rifle. So I'm going to go one and two, and I'm going to stand it there. This is my varmint, so I've got minus one. I've moved two, so that's another minus one. So I'm going to get plus four, but you've got cover again, so it's only a plus three shot as well. And you're not playing a card. I've rolled a natural 20. Boom. So now it's, I've got a four of hearts over here and I'm gonna need to get him up into the action. So I'm gonna go move, move, move. So one, two to there. And then he's gonna try, yeah, he's gonna just tuck over here, ready to go. Your turn, you've got your gunslinger now. So my gunslinger is going to have to get into the action and do some shooting. But wary that you've got a man tucked nicely behind this building. I'm going to move one move across and then do two shots. So firstly, I'm going to move across to about here and I'll take two shots at your guy here. Yeah, so within eight inches, so it's a normal. Normal. No you, cover. I have a plus, this is my gunslinger who's very good with a gun, as you'd imagine. He gets a plus two. However, one comes off because of your movement. Yeah. So it's plus one and I get for the first shot. 19. Boom. Some revenge. Now your second shot was aimed at him, so unfortunately you've shot my guy down. That was your three. Thank you. Because I'd have to declare all moves or all actions prior to, to moving and, and undertaking the actions, any actions that could get cancelled out due to cards or because in this case I, uh, I put a guy out of action, uh, avoid, I can't use them. Yeah, so you shot at my guy and you can't shoot at another guy because you'd already declared. I'd already declared. Okay. So we finish off with my gunslinger. And he's... Ooh, and we're allowed to pre-measure in this game, so... 
I'm gonna move, move, and shoot your guy. Hopefully. Move, move, shoot. Okay, so move to about there and get to there. So I'm within four inches now, so I'm gonna hit you at point blank range with a pistol, which gives me plus two. I've moved two, which loses one. So plus two for short range, plus two because he's my gunslinger. Minus one because I've moved two, and minus one because you've, so I've got only the plus two. Uh -huh. Four, that's no result. That's the end of the turn, and then under normal circumstances, because you've lost half your men, you'd have to make a big nerve check, which means you could flee the battlefield. However, the victory conditions of this game is when two of your guys go out of action, you lose. So I win this game. If you're tempted by Dead Man's Hand, thinking about purchasing it or some of the support materials, check out our website, modernforadvantage.co.uk. It's a great way to support the channel. Buy your miniatures from us!